Welcome back, the weapons DLC isn't quite here, but today we're gonna make some bombs. Let's get started. So here we are in Stormworks, and as you can see, there is nothing going on. No helicopters or airplanes or boats in the sky. No, I deactivated everything because I just want to show you how to install one magical script mod thing, add-on. And that is PWS. So let's get into PWS. So if you go to the Stormworks workshop and search for PWS or Penguin Zero Weapon System, you will find this. And what this is, is some pre-made weapons that you can install. There's also some guns, I think, and flamethrowers, but we're not gonna be doing that. I'm just gonna show you how to make the custom bomb and install the script because that is what we're doing for the B-17. So what you wanna do is come and subscribe after you find it, and then we're gonna go back to Stormworks. Now we're gonna assume that you had Stormworks closed so it would download the add-on, and then you just opened it up, and now you're on the screen. So you're gonna start a new game, of course. We're gonna go to Custom, we're gonna to go to Creative Basis Fine. We're gonna just disable everything and go to Workshop and Penguin Zero Weapon System. Now he has a flak system and a damage system, but we just want the weapon system. And we're gonna go ahead and check that box, get out of here, and spawn. So here we are back in Stormworks. Let's fix the weather. Turn off the player damage, fix the weather. And now we're gonna go into the editor. All right, so we're just going to make a test cube here, and we're going to make this into our bomb, okay? So what you're gonna need for the PWS is a dial, ta-da, a constant number, and a toggle switch. Could also be a push button, I like the toggle, so I'm just gonna use a toggle. And we're gonna to wanna to use the new sensor where is the new sensor? Right here. No, that's not. That's a compass. Where is it at? There it is. Impact sensor. Ba boo Okay. So first off, we're going to delete this and put our nice little dial in there. All right. So what we're going to do next is click on it. And what we're going to see is display name. And we're going to add user, custom bomb, and mass. Okay. Ta-da. Then we're going to add something else. Let's add a toggle switch here Boop. and let's add oh i don't know on this side we could add our constant number this is a very cool bomb right and what we're going to do on the toggle switch is type in trigger okay so we have trigger on the button on the dial we have user underscore custom underscore bomb underscore mass okay and then for the mass we want to set it, we're going to use this constant number, connect it, and then we're going to set the mass of the bomb to about 25. Anything too big gets a little crazy, but I like 25. Seems like a nice number. All right, we need one more thing, which is a battery, of course. I forgot about that. I mean, if you turn on the electricity, you're going to have the electricity, but let's just make it a complete working version, assuming that you will be using this in a advanced game. All right, there's our bomb now. And we need to hook up our electricity. Boop. And boop. Okay. Let's test it. Where'd it go? Okay, here it is. So right now, it won't do anything if you hit it or anything. But if we push the button... Oh, there you go. All right, so we're going to go back and do our autosave and pull this back up. Because it will disappear once it blows up. So as you can see, it is able to explode. Now, I made the mistake of when I was trying to create the bombs for the B-17 of thinking that by do doing all this that it would take damage and explode when it hit the ground automatically. But unfortunately it doesn't work that way. You have to actually add some kind of a sensor. So before yesterday's update with the impact sensor, you had to use an altitude sensor or a distance sensor. So Rowan and I used a distance sensor on the bomb, which allowed us to make a microcontroller that had a threshold uh, set in there. So if the threshold was between one and five or three and five, when this distance sensor was activated, once the bomb was dropped out of the hangar, it would explode the bomb, usually when it hit the ground or, you know, saw something in front of it. So now with the impact sensor, even cooler things can be done because we don't need even a microcontroller if we don't want. We could just go in here and we're going to take this impact sensor, pop it in here, and cover it up if we want. So now what we can do is go and connect this impact sensor to our button trigger 
And so what happens when this drops and then it suddenly stops, the impact is registered and sends it to the trigger, which sends it to Penguin Script, which blows up. So now it's set to 1 ms. I think that's meters per second. So once it slows down to 1 meters per second, it will explode. But we're going to just test to see what we need to set it to, like on a regular drop. Let's go to 25. And then let's go ahead. I don't think we need power for this thing, right? No, we don't. OK, let's come out here. And we're just going to come out here and bring our new little bomb with us. We're going to bring it up. And then we're going to spot it. OK, so that's pretty high. And we should see it falling. And is 25 enough? Yes, 25 is enough. All right. So let's see. Let's dial in our sensitivity. Oh, OK. So what we can do is come back in here and load the autosave. Because remember, it always disappears once it uh, explodes. So we're going to come back in here. And let's just put it to, uh, I don't know, 35. All right, let's see if 35 is a safe number. OK, no. So. How about 30? Can we do 30? OK, here we go. 30. Boom. OK. So this gives us a good idea of what we can set it to. So right now it's 30. We know anything 30 and below is going to explode on impact. Now, if we can set this you know, lower, if we're going to be dropping things from a lower altitude, maybe. So let's see. Let's just go over here and see what happens when we just bring it down to like, I don't know, how, how high is that? That's pretty good, right? All right, let's just see what happens at 30 now. Boop. No boom. No boom. All right, let's try again and bring it down to 20. No boom. No boom. What about just dropping it down to 1? There's our boom. So as you can see, the distance that it's dropping is going to dictate when it explodes. So if we want a super sensitive bomb that might bounce around in our <laughs> bomber hangar and blow up, we could put it down. But I think we would be dropping about, you know, a thousand feet altitude. And we're just going to set it to 20 because I think 20 is probably the optimal sensitivity for this thing. Yep, I like 20. And uh, just to show you what you can do here is if we do something crazy, like let's set it to uh, let's set it to 100. Oof, what's going to happen? I don't even know. Whoa, okay, Toki. All right, so as you can see, that's how you can make some massive bombs. Let's do that again. Watch this. Let's let's really pump this up. Let's do oh, not that. Let's pump the number up to a thousand. Yes. Okay, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to camera mode. That way it won't blow me away here, I think. Will it blow me away still? I don't even know. Let's find out. Ready? And drop. Woo! <laughs> This is a good way to fly across a map, though. Look at this. Oh, and then all of a sudden I just stop. All right, so I got pretty far there. All right, so there are a few things you should know about the Penguin weapon system, and that is that you cannot place this bomb on a plane. So, for example, if we go grab a plane, let's grab this awesome jet. I don't know who this is by, but it's very cool looking. And let's say that we wanted to place bombs on it, our box bomb rack. So let's say that we placed a bomb here and... We placed a bomb here, and it was connected, you know, and we spawned it. And we have our bomb on one wing and our bomb on the other wing, okay? So let's look at the chat, and you'll see only one gets identified. So you cannot pre-spawn these onto a plane. I don't know if it works if you just put one. I never tested it because I had, like, four bombs, but it does not work as far as exploding if you put multiples on. So... I mean, we can test it. Let's yeah, we can test it. Let's test it. Let's let's uh, jump on this. So m one of these bombs may work. Maybe you can only load one bomb that works. 
if I can get on the wing here. And, uh, okay, so that one worked. It blew up the plane and everything. I actually think that that is the problem, too, is it actually blows up the plane as if it's part of the vehicle. And that might be cool if you want that to happen. But that's not how you're going to be able to make uh, weapons for your plane. All right, so let's go ahead and show you how this actually works by actually making some droppable bombs. Now, I'm not going to go crazy here. I just want to show you how it works. So let's see, what can we do to make it easy? I don't feel like, you know, going crazy. Uh, let's go ahead and see what we have on the seat. We have something on everything. Six. Six sounds good. Okay. So six it is. Let's throw some knot up in here. Boom, just like that. All right, so next up, we're going to need a Mago. Yes, this is going to be an awesome bomber. All right, so let's go ahead and where can we put it safely? Can we put it here? And yeah, maybe here? That's where we're going to put it. Hopefully, we'll have enough ground clearance. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and hook these bad boys up to electricity. All right, so let's go ahead and connect these knots to our megals. So this knot is going to turn on those megals. This is a terrible example, but, you know, we don't have time to mess around. So we're going to hook... Do we want to do it separately? Nah, we'll just do it together. So we're just going to go ahead and hook number six to this knot, and that is going to turn those megals on. Let's check to make sure that I'm not lying. Yeah, oh, they're on. They're hot. Okay, so now we have a cool plane. Let's save it as test bomb box. Yes, test bomb box. Bomb box, test bomb box. Okay, that'll work. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna set up a mission. Now that's because in order for these bombs to work independently and not blow up the plane itself, we have to make a mission. So we go into the mission editor, we add an environment, be it create a base, we're going to go ahead and hit the edit objects and we're going to add our silly plane the test bomb box here let's put it right there never flown this plane so i don't know how this is going to work out but next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our bomb box here and we're going to place it right underneath our silly little thing there okay let's put it right there hopefully it doesn't explode <laughs> that would be bad uh, that looks pretty good. Okay, that's bomb number one. And I hate the editor. I don't know why we don't get the WASD keys instead of trying to move these things around. Okay, that looks, that looks good. All right, so now when we spawn this mission, the plane will spawn, it will spawn to two separate bombs, and the PWS will be able to initialize both of these bombs as separate and not actually blow up the plane when they blow up. Ta -da. So there are our bombs hanging, and number six will drop them. Oh boy, let's get let's get on top here. All right, is this the door? Oh yeah. Okay, cool. All right. So I have not flown this plane. This is by Sergeant Teaspoon. What is that? I don't know what that does. What is oh, crap? Aha! That'll work. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if we can uh, get this thing going. Fireworks? I don't know what this... Oh, this is not in English. How am I supposed to know this? All right, let's just click them on. Oh, maybe those are... Uh, what you call it? Slats? I don't know what that is. Uh, batteries? Instruments. Start mortar. Maybe? What the heck is that? I don't know what these things are. Okay, uh, boy. Pumps, maybe? Okay. That also, okay. So far, so good. Okay, so <laughs> let's go ahead and check them out. Where is our land? All right, so it's to our west. Our land is back there. Let's go ahead and throw them up. Okay. Hopefully the brakes aren't on. Maybe the brimace of the brakes. Don't know. Come on. Come on. Don't hit the bombs. Just go up. Oh dear. Don't drop my bombs. Don't drop my bombs. 
Ah! Okay. All right, starting to move. All right, here we go. All right, I don't. I don't like how that drags. Come on. All right, we got some speed. I feel like it's gonna fly. Or hit the ground. All right, there we go. All right, so let's go west. Uh, I'm not even gonna mess with the landing gear because I feel like it's gonna kill me. All right, the ultimate test right here. So we're just gonna go ahead and try not to hit the ground. Very nice plane, actually. Looks really nice. Okay, uh, let's go ahead. Now watch this. We're going to hit number six. It's going to connect that knot, and that knot is going to become a yes. <laughs> and then it's going to drop the magals, or the magals are going to let go, and our box bombs are going to hit at 100 mass bombs. 100, is it like 100 mega, mega something or other? I don't, I don't even know. But, uh, yeah, here we go. Okay, there's the airport. Let's go ahead and line it up. And I'm terrible at bombing, but we're going to go ahead and drop them with number six. Please work. Doom. There they go. There they go. Any day now. Oh, did you see that? That was awesome. All right, that worked. All right, let's do this one more time. Just because I kind of want to do it at a lower altitude to get like the boom, you know, like to to record it. I think that would be cool for a screenshot or something. So let's go ahead and uh, do it one more time. All right, so we are going to destroy this forest in three, two, if I have enough height. Oh, oh. Hello. Uh oh That didn't go well. So sometimes there is a... So sometimes there is a danger that when they spawn, they can explode. Not too sure what causes that. I think it kind of like, maybe it doesn't spawn fast enough or something. I, I don't know. Uh, but what we're going to do, we're going to do one more bombing run because it is fun. Oh. <laughs> We already blew these up. Okay, let's find a new forest to blow up. Oh, we almost hit the church. Oh. All right, well, that's it for today. Whoa. All right, well, that's it for today. I just wanted to show you how to make your own custom weapons since I was working on the B-17. And uh, hopefully this will help. We're going to crash. But if you haven't done so already, hit the bell so it goes ding dong when I upload a video. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. And I will see you next time. And thanks, Penguin, for the excellent add-on. Bye!